Hey everyone, this is Project SPC. I know it's been a couple weeks since I posted a video. I have some more content coming, specifically the GTX 1650. But in the meantime, I wanted to post a video about the wiring harness I use with my small form factor gaming PC setup. So there's three main parts. There's the female adapter for the Xbox 360 power supply, power adapter for the M.2 to GPU adapter, and the JST power connector for the Latte Panda Alpha. Let's take a look at the Xbox 360 female adapter. So let's go over the wiring diagram really quick. Um, depending on your Xbox 360 power supply, you'll either have two or three pins per row here. Um, the top row is the neutral line. So if you have the 200 watt Xbox 360 power supply, you'll get all three pins. And you're also gonna get three pins for the 12 volts here in the middle. Um, the lower rated ones, the 170 watt, get two on the outside. Um, so that's the difference there. There's also two wires that sit down at the bottom. One is a five volt line, one amp, and the other one is a sense for the power supply to turn on. Let's take a look at the back. So you're gonna see some wires coming off the back here. Um, the white, green, and brown ones are the original ones that came with the adapter. And you'll see the yellow one that sits there. That one came with the M.2 to GPU adapter. You can see the gauge difference between the wires. I really wasn't comfortable leaving the original wires there for the GPU. The GPU is going to take several amps, five or six amps. And I didn't trust the wire gauge that came with this cable adapter. Um, so I took that one off. I actually brought it all the way down to the pin and uh, soldered on the yellow wire that came from the M.2 to GPU adapter cable. Up top we have the white and the green. White is a five volt line. Green is the sense for the power supply. Um, and this brown one over here is another 12 volt line. And on the bottom we have some neutrals. Let's move along to the power connector here. Um, I think this is an IDE connector from the floppy days. This comes with the M.2 to GPU adapter and I took the Molex connector which was on the other end off and stripped the wires and soldered them on directly. So you're going to see the yellow line soldered on directly here. The two neutral lines soldered onto the neutral line for the Xbox 360 power supply here. And I also have the, let's see, where did it go? The red line right here. I have the red, which is the five volt on the connector here, tied to the white one here, which is the five volt line. And it's a lab joint soldered. The green one here is floating around. Um, there's a large resistor in the power supply. So really all you need to do is tap this off to a five volt line. It's only going to take a um, few dozen milliamps or something, and it tells the power supply to turn on. Finally, we have the JSC connector for the Latte Panda Alpha. Now, this was, I got like 20 of these on Amazon for like eight bucks. Took a couple weeks to ship. Um, if we follow the lines out, the yellow and the white ones are the neutral. And the red and black here are actually the 12 volt lines. And so that's that connector. I just clipped the end, stripped the wires, and soldered them on to the reciprocating wires. One of the other things I wanted to add was a power switch. So I bought some of these. I'll tie that up to the green power sense line and the 5 volt line here. So this will stick out the back of the PC case that I'm designing. It'll give it kind of like a real PC feel where you get a power supply power switch on the back. So that'll go on there as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more things like this, hit subscribe. I will be posting a video on the GTX 1650 here in a day or two. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.